Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Living Local, live from the North Penrose Event Center. We're at City Summerfest this morning. And I'm Christina Dulitowitz, and we're going to be talking to the artists performing here all night. And I'm meteorologist Patty Kirker, giving you your concert forecast tonight. Stay tuned, Living Local is coming up. That's right, Mia. I said, hola, como esta? She said, konnichiwa. And that song, Don't Mind, was one of the biggest singles of 2016. And we've got the man behind that song right here with me, Kent Jones. Thanks for being here. Of course. Thanks for having me. So your songs are so catchy. It always gets stuck in my head, especially that song. And you have your most recent mixtape, the, the La Tape, came out in February of last year. Right. And your singles include Merengue, Sit Down, and All Right. Can you tell me, how did you get started with singing and rapping? Um, I, my, my whole family had a religious background, so not only uh, through that aspect, through the church, but like my, my everybody in my family does something mu in music. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. a big background. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. What about tonight? Talk to me about tonight. What are you looking forward to most when you perform for City Summer Fest right here? I'm just excited to see the people, all the lights, um, see what usually goes on mm -hmm. um, this time of year. What is it like when you're just up there performing? Uh, it's, it's amazing, you know, especially when people are in, engaged, you know, in the music and the music itself. So, mm -hmm. yeah. That's awesome. So tell me, have you had a chance to explore Southern Colorado yet? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, definitely looking forward to um, exploring. I love the mountains. Yeah, it's a great view right now, yeah. right? Penrose Event Center. So talk to me about what is coming up next from you. What can your fans look forward to? Talking about well, the wonderful forecast we have, have for tonight's big out. event. Very, Behind very me, excited about that. You can see we that. have the stage I, here. In fact, as I have so uh, much music that I've done for it that now it's about just uh, just checks and balances. It's just okay, what putting how many how many records you want to put on it? First of all, you know, sky's yeah. the limit. Uh -huh. um, especially when they're all good records, and then um, just the songs I have coming up. Um, with, with, I have a record with, with uh, Yo Gotti, Ty Dolla Sign, okay. um, K Camp. I have another record with um, Take Off from Migos and Faruko. Um, I, have a, I have a couple other uh, collabs that I've done as well, as well as records that I've done myself that I'm excited about. So, yeah. So you're working, you're getting to work with all these artists. They're working together. Just talk to me about how that feels, you know? All with, uh, collaborating oh, with I mean, so many I other mean, artists. I mean, well, well, see, the thing is, for me, um, I make music with my friends, you know? I make music with um, the people I love. I make music with, with uh, those people. And, you know, it's always a, a real uh, genuine vibe. Even if we don't necessarily get in the studio physically, just the synergy of putting the records together. So, yeah. All right, so, that's, you're, so that album's going to be coming out this summer. Summer, yeah. All right, I can't wait. So, you guys, don't forget, tonight is the night. If you want to party it up with Ken Jones right here at the City Summer Fest at the Penrose Event Center. Now, doors are going to open at 2, and you still have time to get your tickets for $35. And we're going to talk to a lot more performers. We're going to let him go, let him get some rest, maybe explore Colorado a little uh, yeah, bit. Yeah, I definitely want to want to check this out over here. Yes, yeah. yes, definitely. So we're going to check in back with you a little bit later, but... We have more we're going to talk to, so keep it tuned here on Living Local. I'll take uh, two lemonades, please. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's still a lot more happening at City Summer Fest. Stay tuned. Don't miss out. Hey, Maria. That's right. I'm here with Miles Arnell. Now, you may know him for his songs, Leia, Throwback, and Love in My Veins. Now, I've listened yes. to some of your music. You've really developed your own sound, and you call it luxury pop. Yes. What exactly does that mean? It's kind of, uh, it's a wedding of two forces between retro and modern, mm -hmm. old school like Frank Sinatra throwback mixed with today's like yes. pop sound. Okay, yeah, that ma makes sense. Yeah, yeah, when I'm listening, I'm like, okay, yeah, I get that. So you do it all in music besides singing. You write, sure. produce, sure. you even play a few instruments. So you do it all. I mean, I've always been motivated and influenced by people who do everything. People like Ryan Tedder, for instance, who mm -hmm. both write for other people and have successful careers on their own. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to me that I have a hand in my own craft. Definitely. Yeah. Now, talk about tonight. What are you looking forward to most? And tell me, how does it even feel when you're just up there performing uh, for all your fans? It's, it's going to be a completely surreal and incredible experience, just feeding off of energy mm -hmm. like that. It's just, it's, it's such a synergy. Mm 
and it's going to be just an incredible experience all the way around. I'm so excited, so humbled, so grateful to be here. I'm so excited to just come back here for the actual show and just watch all of you guys perform. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's going to be fun. I think we're all going to have a good time. Now, you told me earlier you got here to Colorado Springs a couple of days ago. Yes. Have you had time to explore the city yet? <sighs> Not yet. I'd really like to. It's been so busy the last few mm -hmm. days preparing. But, um, you know, with views like the one behind us, it's... It's hard not to appreciate it. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. You can see every single it's detail. so beautiful. <laughs> yes, yes. So what can your fans expect from you next after this? Well, I mean, you can check me out on Spotify. I'm going to continue to write, record uh, new music and upload it on Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, all streaming platforms, uh, YouTube, Instagram. You can check me out there at Miles Arnell. And I'll be constantly writing, producing, and releasing new material. And so... Can you kind of talk about um, just where does your inspiration come from? Like, I know you get yeah. your influence, you know, that Frank Sinatra influence, but yeah. when you're writing your music, where does it come from? It comes from a scene like the one behind us, <laughs> things like nature, uh, relationships, family, friends, just any, anything that creates a feeling can instantly become a song for me. You know, I wish I could do the same. I wish I was ah. a singer. <laughs> I mean, hey, we all have something. I try. So it makes the world go round. <laughs> now remember, you can come and join the fun here at City Summer Fest at the Penrose Event Center. You can come and check out Miles RNL perform and many other artists as well. Doors open at 2. Tickets are $35. And you just head to citysummerfest.com or 989magicfm.com. Uh, and right now, we're going to toss it over to Mia and check out what she has to say about City Summer Fest next. Hey, Mia. Hey Mia, right now we have Taylor Gray next to me. Her singles include Never Would Have Let Ya, Miami featuring Spencer Kane, and right now her latest single, Poison. Yes. Thanks for being here. Now, you released your debut album, Space Case, last year. And this year, you've won two independent music awards for Best Pop Album and Best Pop Song. So, you're basically living the dream at 20 years old. Uh, th thank you. <laughs> no, it's it's super surreal and, and crazy to be in this world, and I love it. I've wanted to do music ever since I was little, so it's awesome. Living the dream. So how does it feel to be performing here at Colorado Springs' biggest music festival? What does it feel like? That's crazy to me, the biggest music festival. I'm so stoked. I'm so honored to be here. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to come back and watch you guys. I'm so excited. I'll, I'll be dancing with you. Okay, Dance perfect. <laughs> now, you're still in school. You're 20 years old, and you're at Stanford U University, right? Yep. How do you find the time between making music, and then you're also making music videos, and then just going to school? Like, how do you get it all done? It takes a lot of coffee. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, it's, I've always done school and music simultaneously, and I wanted to, you know, keep doing it. Both, they're two of my loves. I couldn't mm -hmm. give either one up a good role model for young girls out there, you know, you. getting things done and still d doing what you're passionate about. Right, stay in school, kids. <laughs> <laughs> so how does it feel when you're up there on stage, you know, you're looking at the crowd, do you still get nervous or, you know, I'm sure you're probably all past that now, right? No, I definitely still get nervous. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think nerves are good because it means you really care about what you're doing. Uh, but yeah, I always get the little butterflies, but I love it. It's totally worth it. But yeah, the day I don't have like a little bit of nervousness, then then I'll start to question it. Ooh, okay, good to know. So then, what about Colorado Springs? You, when did you get here? Did you have a chance to explore around yet? I got in last night, so oh. I haven't, but the view is incredible. Uh, I was here two years ago on tour with the Somerset, though. Okay, okay, so, so you're not a stranger here. No, I, I've been here before. It's yeah. awesome, I love we it We know, here. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what can sp uh, your fans expect from you coming up next after this? Well, I have as you said, my new single, Poison, is out, which I am so excited about. And there's some new music on its way this summer. This summer. That's going to follow up Poison. Okay. So a lot of good things happening this summer. Can I ask you, where do you find your inspiration from? When you're writing music, you know, where does this all come from? A lot of it comes from meeting people and then trying to understand my own life. I think I use songwriting as a way to kind of figure out what's going on or add closure or just, it's like my type of journaling, uh -huh. you know, putting all of the jumbled thoughts on paper and, and you feel like you have a finished product and that's like a time capsule for that part of your life. It's a good way to look at it, yeah. Thanks. All right, well, thanks for being here and remember you can come and watch Taylor Gray perform tonight. Doors are going to open at 2. You still have time to get your tickets for $35, so don't miss out. You can just CitySummerFest.com.
you better get your tickets. And so we're going to uh, toss it to the break and just don't move, just stay with Living Local. <laughs>